Vala Mogules, where the shivering sea and the narrow sea come together, the free city of Bravo stands upon its famed hundred isles, amidst the shallow brackish water of a fog-shrouded lagoon. Bravos was originally founded by escaped slaves from Valeria. The first law of Bravos is that no man, woman, or child should ever be a slave. Bravos is also the home of the most powerful entity in the world, the Iron Bank of Bravos. And like a Lannister, the Iron Bank will always pay its debts or collect them. There's a popular saying. The Iron Bank will have its due. The Iron Bank is known to overthrow governments, monarchies, and send assassins to kill those they can't remove. But we aren't going to Bravos to go to the Iron Bank. Not truly. Well, not yet. We are going to the House of the Black and White, the Temple of the Many-Faced God, the headquarters of the Assassin's Guild known as the Faceless Men where the many-faced god of death is worshipped. And what do we say to the god of death? Not today. In the temple of the many-faced god, there are different statues from all the religions in the world because the worshippers of the many-faced god believe everyone is praying to the same god with a different face. The stranger from the faith of the seven is there along with many others. Death is a gift and they give the gift of death. My theory for today is simple. The faceless men have a part to play in the battle for the dawn, but whose side will they be on? I doubt highly it will be the white walkers whom they side with, even though some have suggested exactly that. In my opinion, the white walkers are really bad for business for the assassins killed. White walkers kill people, but they aren't truly dead. They kill them, then enslave their bodies. Any faceless man should despise this. The gift of death incomplete and then topped with slavery. My true belief is that the faceless men knew all along about the threat of the walkers, which is how Jack and Hagar ended up in the black cells. His original destination was north. Now, I don't know when he was placed in the black cells, but I believe it was sometime after Yorin arrived. Then there is also this theory, or thought in general, that the faceless men only kill people that they are contracted to kill. For example, when Arya is punished for taking the life that wasn't hers to take, she was accused of stealing from the many-faced god, and she was punished. So in order for them to kill the White Walkers, someone would need to ask them to, and pay the price. Who would put a contract on White Walkers? Who could afford such a contract? Well, I'll tell you, the Iron Bank. The Iron Bank will have its due, and they won't get their due with the White Walkers turning people to ice zombie slaves. The Crown owes the Iron Bank. Stannis owes the Iron Bank. And John has just borrowed from the Iron Bank for food and supplies for winter for the wall. So even the Night's Watch owes the Iron Bank. You're probably like, what the hell are you talking about, crazy girl? So let me explain. When Jacken leaves Arya at the Harrenhal, he changes his face to this man. And this man is in Old Town. In A Feast for Crows, the prologue, we meet Pate. Pate makes a deal with someone known as the Alchemist. The deal is, Pate will bring the alchemist a key, and in return, the alchemist will give him a golden dragon so he can buy this girl that he has a crush on. The key was old and heavy and made of black iron. Supposedly, it opened every door at the citadel. Only the archmaesters had such keys. So they do this trade, and Pate makes the mistake of biting the coin that he was paid. Much like the man that Arya poisoned in Bravos. He does seem to die, but before he dies, he asks, Is it the books you want? Some of the old Valerian scrolls down in the locked vaults were said to be the only surviving copies in the world. It's none of your concern what I want. Show me your face. I do not know you, nor I you. Who are you? 
a stranger, no one truly. Pate presumably dies a few steps later, probably from the poison from biting that coin, but the faceless men now have the key to unlock every door of the citadel. It's funny because the alchemist says he's a stranger, and the stranger is the god of death in the faith of the seven. Then he goes on to say he's no one. The alchemist's description fits Jackin's second appearance to a T, the hook nose, the scar. Sticking to the theory that the Iron Bank have contracted the faceless men to kill White Walkers, he needs the key to find out information on these White Walkers and how to kill them. There are other theories that they were contracted by someone else, and their true intent is to kill Daenerys' dragons. Because supposedly the Maesters did it before, and they hold the books from Valyria that no one else holds. And it's true the Faceless Men have no love for Valyrians or Dragon Lords. Yes, Daenerys is anti-slavery, but her dragons will undoubtedly outlive her. And what would come next? Who would come next? But I find that the Iron Bank is the true employer of the Faceless Men, and they want their money and they can't collect it from zombies. When Sam arrives at the Citadel, he meets Pate, but not really Pate. He meets no one wearing Pate's face. Directly after the prologue, we go into the chapter of the Prophet, where Arian finds out you're on his back and there's to be a king's moot. The funny thing is, when we look back at the Ghost of High Heart's vision, and I'll link that at the top so you can check that out, she says, a man without a face waits on a bridge that swayed and swung. So that has led many to believe that Euron contracted the faceless men to kill Balon. Even though in the show he killed Balon himself, he admits in a sample chapter of Winds of Winter that he needed help to kill Balon. Gods only know what the price was that he paid to have a king killed. However, it was said that he had a dragon egg. It was also said that he threw his dragon egg into the sea. But maybe he didn't. Maybe he paid for the faceless men with it. And now they need to know how to hatch it to kill the walkers. I also think if the time comes when Arya has to kill Littlefinger, in her heart it will be for revenge, but in her duty it will be to the service of the many-faced god. The crown owes money, but Littlefinger was master of coin. It was Littlefinger that borrowed the money. And the Iron Bank will have its due. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the love. Let me know in the comments if you think this theory is plausible. And if not, let me know what you think the faceless men need that key for and who hired them to get it. Have a great day, my sweet summer children. Vala Mogules.